No one remember what was the last topic? What was the last topic? Okay. I'm the one D to two D and two A to three. Right. That is reshaping. No dimension happens. Now today we'll see the iteration topic. Guys, before getting into this, what is iteration one? This is not at all answering. Anyone, what is iteration? Iteration is nothing but repetition of elements or repetition of particular array or list. You can call them. Iterating means one by one. Got it. As we deal with multi dimensional in NumPy, we have 2D, 3D, 4D, right? So we have multi dimensional analysis in NumPy. We can do this all using basic for loop of Python. What we do is find the data of Python. If we iterate, On a one So iterate on elements of the following one day. Iterating means nothing but going through one by one and going through one by one element. Got it. As we deal with multi dimensional arrays in NumPy, we can do this. Using basic loop of Python. By using basic Python, we can do this for multi dimensional arrays in NumPy. If we iterate on a 1D array, 
it will go through each element by one by one. It will be array. It will iterate the elements of one array. One by one by one element to every element. Iterate an element of the following one D array. That is just a minute.
चलो करें इनपुट नंबर
this code, how it will be implemented in three ways. We got printed with one, two, three. Why we got printed with one, two, three? See here. We we want to integrate every element. So what we did and what import numpy as well. We have imported numpy as then we have declared the numpy and Here you can select in array. By using for loop, uh, we are executing for x in array. Print yes. array as one to three. Those numbers are x. Print x. I want to print x. So, what we have done here. If we have printed one, this is what it is said to be iteration of elements. Got it. Iterating to the arrays. In the same way as one D array, we will be iterating the two D arrays also. Let's see how it works. Thing guys, it's, it's, it's just like we are iterating one D Because I haven't seen the screen. I haven't shown you that one day, right? Okay. Let's go with one day again. Yes. Yes. 
One, two, three, we got printed. Why in iterating? Every element is listed, like every, every element is traced by the using for loop. We have written this and the array. One dimensional array. By using number, we have. Now, let's see to the array. Let's go with to the array now. But no will be writing in two square braces that is said to be 2 d array, like which is a uh, combination of 1 d array and is said to be 2 d array. Got it. So, and loop like. Uh, some sort of numpy array will be visited by the iterator. Got it. Every element will be visited and it will be read. And we will get the output, will, it will be printed as the output. Got it. This is 2D array, right? We got. on each I was importing number with to the app in I is in Let's 
You see here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six. See how many years I got due to some differences. You can see that how many errors I got. Just for inundation, but from the element that is only elements with. Uh, no side by side, it's only single element for each cell. You can see here. You'll be getting one, two, three, four, five, six. Every element will be iterated. In iteration process, every element will be iterated and return separated. This is said to be um, iteration scanner. Go to all the coding arrays. Example iterate on the element of the call. I want to iterate, uh, iterate on the elements of the following AD array. You can see here one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 has been derived. What we are doing here? What we done is we have imported number as entry where array equals to entry dot array. That is, we have given 3D elements. For x3, array is print x. I want to print the x on a number of elements. So, this is how it is, it is printed. This is how we'll be getting the output. Right. Iterating the array using ND. The function ND is a helping function that can be used from very basic to very advanced iterations. What we can do with ND is we can use it for basic level to advanced iterations it always some like it solves some basic pro issues and problems which we face in iteration let's go through it with example okay. 
iterating array using and iter, right? Iterating on each scalar element. In basic for loops, iterating through an array, we need to use and loop which which can be difficult to write or erase in different high dimension. Right. So we'll be in the rating of each, each scalar element for the basic for loops, where we'll be iterating through each scalar of an array. So we need to use it for the loops, which can be difficult to write for arrays, which is very Well, what we are understanding is then helping function that can be used for very basic to very advanced iterations. It shows some basic issues like which we face in iteration or looping. Let's go through it with examples. How will we iterate in scalar element in the basic? And for loops, which can be difficult to write for arrays with very high dimensionality. Right. Wait, I am coming. Here you can see iterate importing numpy where array equals to numpy dot array where it is a PS6 and 7. It's in an iterate array that is print x. I want to print x. And, and, and we learn numpy dot nd array. Array is print x. That is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. You can see that this is how it will be empty. Now let's try this one. Yes. 
You can see here. And we have and here by the six. That's how I'm preventing one book. Everything will be similar. Every dimension will be similar, but it has to be characterized. Like this. Enumerator, iteration in the numerator. Numerator. Enumeration means mentioning separate number of something, that is sequence number of something, one by one. Something we can require composed. Is it audible now? Guys, due to network issue, it is not good. Guys, is it audible and visible? Is it visible now? And it is audible. Guys, is it audible? And it is visible, right? I have changed the network. Respond now. That's why I give always mic access. Because whatever the problems you face, you can just be telling that, right? Guys, is it audible now? It is still striking. All for today. Let's see some other some coding part today. Let's try some basic codes. Because I really are uh, talking about numpy and we are forming the code, right? Let's do some basic codes.
say yes. Let's execute some codes today. It's already seven fourteen five, right? We have one half an hour more, so let's see this. Rice. I'll be giving you questions. I hope I'll get an answer. Some basic prospects. Go with some basic things. to program. Let's see the phone. Um, what is Armstrong number? Can anyone know this kind of concept? For example, let's take given number is X. So we want to determine whether the given number that X is Armstrong number or not. And strong number is nothing but guys, it is like it will be very useful, guys. Listen carefully. We can give it for basic program, basic uh, as a basic program for any Python coding. We can give it in interviews. Listen it carefully. 
where what we what we say like Armstrong number as like for how we can define Armstrong number, right? We can say that a positive integer of n digits is called as Armstrong number. What it is? Positive. A positive integer and digits Guys, are you following me? Are you getting my point? What we call as Armstrong number, a positive integer of n digits is said to be called Armstrong number. I have written in shortcut as Armstrong number. Right. With an order of number of digits. This is what we call it as uh, Armstrong number. If suppose, for example, um, example, let's take input equals to. Where output equals to S So we have to get whether it is Armstrong number or not. So 153 is Armstrong number or not? Is an Armstrong number. But why? How? See this. We have a formula for this. This uh, that is A B C D so on equals to Pow. Pow is kind of function or pow. E comma. Less how B comma n uh, you can say how plus how. C comma N and so on. So 
So now in this format we're gonna write we're gonna find whether it is an Armstrong number or not. Star one, star one plus five into five into five plus. 3 into 3 into 3. We will be dividing the whole number into some sort of digits. What we are doing, we are uh, multiplying everything and we are adding. That is 3 into 3 Now, what will we getting? So for 25, 25, 5 here, 125. 125 plus 9, 3 is 27 plus 3. How much we get? Finally, 153, right? So this will be the uh, whatever we write, if it obeys this law, then it is said to be an Armstrong member. Got it? This is how we will be telling it as Armstrong number. Let's see with an example how it works. Well, let me take n equals to some sort of 149. Where s equals to n. Where b equals to S is nothing but uh, where we are assigning the input value. We are assigning the input value that is n to particular variable that is s. Got it. n is nothing but in, n is an integer of an input. So we are taking the input from user. So that input is assigned to the variable that is s where b equals to some will be using len, len function, len string of n. So, Now, sum of one, sum one equals to zero. We take sum one equals to zero. Why? I was using why to why and. Percentile, so not any percentile, no. an exponential equals to like zero.
The power of B. Right. Now we'll be giving N to equals to or N. We are using while loop, right? Now we I want to print something. Print. something that is when the given number is given number is the given number what I what the what is the given number the variable is that's right we'll be writing this Given number is S. The given number, comma, S. Yes. is to be printed or if else we'll be getting the value we are writing if else print what it should print The given number here I have written the given number is and strong right? Now here what we write is 
given number is not Armstrong number. Not if it satisfies the criteria, we'll be writing the given number is Armstrong number. If it is if if it doesn't satisfy the criteria, we'll be getting this. It is not Armstrong. Let's run this. Somewhere I have missed the code. Mm, yeah, we have to end it with colon, right? This is how you can see the given number is 149 is not Armstrong number. Um, check how it is not, why it is not Armstrong number. Let's check it. One into one, you know, right? Let's know, we know by using this formula, right? One, one, one. That is, we'll get three. Some plus four fours are sixteen, sixteen fours are sixteen four plus we're getting nine nines are eighty one, eighty one nines. Actually, even I don't know. Oh, eighty one nines and I don't know. Nine. Forty-nine or something will get. So now by adding this, we'll be getting one forty-nine. No right. This is how we'll be finding out the Armstrong number. I hope you understand this concept. Guys, are you following me? Are you getting me? Guys, are you getting me? Here, what we, what it, what happens is one forty nine will be checked. That it is uh, equals to zero or not. Like if we divide it with some sort of 10 here you can see this if I divide n number with 149 so if it it will check if it is not equal to 0 it will enter into a loop if it if it is equals to 0 then uh, the loop will be stopped. Got it. If it is not equal to 0, it will be entering into a loop. So that by, for the next step, it will be getting into some cube number. That is, we are doing right 1 into 1 into 1, 2 into like uh, 4 into 4 into 4, 3 times. We will be getting the cube of the number. Of particular sum that's what I have written here sum 1 plus r, r star r star b right so that then this step gives gives us the quotient of the number 
So once we get the, until we get the reminder as zero, this particular, uh, what it is, iteration will be going on. Iteration will not stop until we get the number is equals to zero. I hope, I hope it's clear. Guys, is it clear? Guys, anyone there? Is it clear? Have you got an idea of Armstrong's number, about Armstrong number? Anyone? Raise your hands. Any doubts? You got the clarity, ma? Any doubts? If any doubts, you can give any kind of reaction so that I got to know if you have doubts or should I clear anything. You just give, ping it on question and answer box or else you can directly tell me. I'll be checking the question and answer box because this, this thing you can even give it when you go for interview, if they ask for any Python basic program, you can write this kind of program. Armstrong number is one of the program among that. Got it. Any doubts? If no doubts, just give me some kind of thumbs up so that I can get it you don't have any doubts because if someone has doubt in this concept um i can clear right if any doubts are there i can clear so that i can go for some other code these codes are very important i hope it's better to note or take a screenshot i'll be keeping the screen like this it will be useful for you when you go for an interview or any kind of uh, coding, like technical practice or technical round, you'll be Armstrong number is one of the most asked concept in exams, in previous like in TCLs or Cognizant, these kind of form teacher exams in for jobs, they'll be asking this kind of questions. Got it. No doubts, right? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. If you don't respond, it's all right. Any doubts in today's class? I'll be leaving you past today. Like by 8.15, I'll be leaving you. Any doubts? Do you like this coding session or is, is it boring? Of course, class is almost complete. You can speak because I am not uh, beating you or I'm not scolding you for silly things. I'm just, I just want to interact with you guys. That's it. Is it fast or slow? Should, what should I improve? You can give the suggestions so that I can teach you in that way. All right. Yeah, ma, which PPT you want? I'll send you once, uh, like, up be before the end of the session, I'll be sending you, like, not today's session. Like, we have some 45 days class, right? 45 days to one month, one and a half month. By that session, I'll be sending you. Um, 
Oh, yeah, okay, sure. I'll be sending you. I'll be sending you the PPT. Send. One more thing. I have told you one project that is rock, paper, scissors. I have told you that I'll, I'll be sending it. I'll be sending everything before the session, before all classes will close. Right. Once the session is over, I'll be before that, I'll be sending you. Maybe the last day or before that. Like almost we have more PPTs to do like uh, even oops concept we have one separate ppt numpy skypy matlab we, we have some other separate ppt like that i'll be sending everything before the class before the classes get over okay no worries about that the group will be like that and we'll be sending it any doubts for today's class no doubts, right? Okay. I'm closing this session now. You can go. You can leave. And thank you for being quiet. For no disturbance. You can leave. Thank you. Have a good day.